Hey everybody, this here is the Gear for Dopey Games, and I'm coming at you with another PS4 tutorial from Far Cry 5 Editor. They've added scripts and all that. I know they did this a while back, but a lot of you people aren't getting what, what, what things this can do. Now for PC, a lot more options, but for PS4, I'm going to run you down the basics of triggers, scripts, and basically how to get things done in your game with them. Okay? So I have a few different things done here. Now with scripts... And triggers you can you can really up your game all right we're also going to be going over a teleporter which I have a simple teleporter built over here and we'll go over that as soon as we as I kind of show you what's going on here so let's just go on ahead and I'll show you how differently this this whole scene is going to go all right and then I'll explain to you what the triggers are and what they do so let's just go in real quick let's just play it so yeah, it's a really good that they've done this. So we're gonna go in as an assault. Sure. Now as you see, we're here, and it doesn't look so great. But the, and there are three kinds of triggers. This trigger here is called an event trigger. What it'll do is when I destroy this block, as you'll see, it can either be blocks or AIs or whatever. As you see, my my whole thing will start changing. As you can see already, it's already changing. So it was hooked up to the fog, and now it's kind of clearing everything out, and the fog's dissipating since I shot that block up, right? Okay, now that's totally changed my scene. Well, let's go over and see what this panel does. This is called a look-at trigger. And when I look at this, oh, it turned dark after. Okay. And this one's called a volume trigger. It's not vo sound volume. It's uh, It basically puts out a binding box that once you step into it, like... When you step up to this control panel, boom, it triggers an event. And that event is this, uh, <laughs> whatever, lightning going into the sky kind of thing. Uh, something's happening, basically. And then over here, I have a teleporter. It's a simple teleporter. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. But uh, let's see. Let's go into the teleporter. And boom. There we are. That's where we were. So where we are. And that over there is the zombie thing. That'll be next. But let's go into triggers first and let's really figure figure all this out real quick just to show you. And we're basically going to break this down for you. Okay, so as you see here, this is a volume trigger. All right, here's your trigger. And if we go into it, you, you'll see that it's hooked to the script. Okay, so my trigger options are script six. I can switch it to any script I want, but that's the script I have it hooked to. Alright? So, yeah, I could go hook it to a different one, but that's not what I want to do. I want it on script 6. Very cool. And then we can adjust our custom properties of it. The shape of it, we can make it into a cylinder. We can make it into a box. We can make it bigger, shorter, longer, taller, whatever we want to do. And basically, so that's that. Now our script is here. And what we did here was, boom, and we have script options, which we can get here. And on here, it's spawn object. And the object it is spawning is there. So if I hit this, and then I see, it shows which object I'm doing. If it not, I would have selected it, but since it's already selected, that's the way that script's going to run now, okay? So every time I do that, that's what that'll happen. All right, let's get out of there. And your look at. So now I'm going to go to my look at trigger. This is a look at trigger, and we're going to go in here. And as you see now, I have the I have the thing around it. So there's a little bit of a timing issue on it. So if you're trying to make it real small, it'll never trigger. But but you got to kind of play with it, and then once you get to it, it'll work just fine. Okay. And that is your look at trigger. Now the scripts have a ton of different scripts in it. So let's just pull out a new script. Um, just, just, just to, uh, just to show you, there's a, t I'm not going to go over all of them cause I'm not trying to make this video forever in a day. So let's just, uh, back out. All right. We'll put that down then we'll back out. Now I can go to object and I can go to script options. Now I can, here we'll go down to empty. I can set the time of day. I can put a delay on something. I can spawn an object. I can spawn an object that will stay forever. I can set fog, unspawn objects, teleport, 
set slow motion, change theme music. So say you're going into somewhere and you want it to sound different. Boom, that's what it'll do. All right, set a storm, spawn AI, unspawn AI, and set an ob a set object marker visibility. So you can put up markers down if you like. Say you've got certain points. And if they get there, boom, the marker will show up. You can do all kinds of stuff. That's not what we're doing today. I'm just basically showing you the basics. You'll play around with it. You'll figure out your own deal. And hopefully you'll tell me about it. <laughs> this one is called an event trigger. When you bust this block up, it triggers the fog. Remember? So the fog will we'll go. We'll do just like I did before. All right. Now, we got two things left to do here. And I'm trying to keep this down. To a minimum. Okay, so now let's build a simple teleporter. I have the paths laid out for what we're going to do. So we're going to make it so that when you go here, you end up over there. What we're going to need for this is a script, a volume trigger, and a spawn point there we go there's our spawn point all right so now all we need to do is move our trigger over to here we'll do a few little uh, custom things to it let's turn it into a cylinder let's make the size a little bit bigger all right, and now let's go back. And now what we want to do is hook it up to the new script that we did. So we'll go back into options. We'll go to trigger options. Then we will go back left on our directional and it'll give us our latest script. There it is, script 24. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set up. Oops, if I can get to it, I'm going to set my spawn dude up where he needs to go, which should be about right there, I believe. So let's take it. Let's see. Take him, and let's turn him back around so that he's looking at everybody. So we're going to go from here to there. Now, our trigger is set up for this script. All right, there we go. Now, script options. We want to go to here, and we're going to go to teleport player. And then we're going to select a spawn point destination. So we're going to go here. And now as you see my turned white, I will come over here and I'll hit him with that. Boop. And now he is selected and that's what's going to happen. All right. Well, we might want to move our trigger down just a little bit. There we go. Now it's all just about that light. Now let's go in and check her out and make sure that our trigger is working. Explore. Journey. And when we run into this, we get teleported over to this panel. So there's our teleporter. Alright, so next thing we're going to cover here is your zombie spawner. As you see, there's nothing spawning on my zombie spawner, right? Okay, so what we're going to do now is let's go back into editor you'll see. All right. Now there's a few things to remember about this. Not many. As you see, it comes with its own binding box. You can make this binding box however big you want it to be. Okay. So if we want to go this way, we want to go this way. Now you can put whatever zombies you want in here, but there's a catch. Zone two, wave two and above can go in here. All right, wave one is the first set that you put in here. They won't respawn. It'll only respawn from wave two and up. All right, so what I have here is I have a zombie, and then I go into objects, object properties. Oh, still on, the, it happens a lot. So let's just get real close to this thing. Let's go into this. All right, there we go. There is spawning preferences. Default or the spawning caps. Now when I now that's it. That's all you gotta do. And it has to be inside the box. If you have it outside the box, 
they won't spawn. If they're inside the bonding box, the control zone, they'll spawn. All right, so let's test out our theory. I didn't reset anything, so it's just going to do whatever it does. But let's go ahead and go on in here. Now, I know this tutorial is a little bit long, but, uh, uh-oh, what happened? Oh, there we go. That's right, you have to go into the box to activate it, okay? Now, the, ooh, damn, I can't, I can't get rid of these big boys. That's up, I forgot about you. They're big, and they're ugly. Yeah, they keep spotted on me. So as long as, oh, God. You see, uh, so once you destroy all of the ampules, you guys will just keep spawning. You can adjust the time and all of that of the spawn inside there. We're not going through that. We're just showing you pace teleport. When all the ampules are done, these guys will just. For some reason, it's keeping them alive. Don't know why. They're all trying to get away and go off into the blue. But we're not going to let that happen. As you see, that's done. Boop, boop. They're all dead. Alright, so this is good for Dopey Games. And basically, we've run over to all the triggers, the scripts, how to make a basic teleporter, and how to get your zombie respawner to work. Okay, so I hope this helps you. Please leave a comment if you, uh, you have any other things that you found out and ideas. Because there are very few for PS4 tutorials out there. And I like to keep everybody informed. So um, with all this stuff, all my old maps are pretty much useless. So we'll see you. We'll see you later, alright? Y'all have a great day. Later.